G'day and welcome to the Big Boat Adventure. Today we're on board a Riviera 64, fresh from the factory up in Queensland from the folks at Riviera. Thank you so much for letting us use your boat for the day. As usual, we're gonna find out what it's like to really live with this boat. From the very top of the flybridge to the very bottom and the gyroscope that keeps this thing level, there is so much technology on this particular boat. We're out, by the way, in Newcastle Harbour. You can probably see the tugboats speeding around behind us. We'll try and stay out of their way as we find out everything there is to know about the Riviera 64 coming up in this episode. Let's begin at the stern and work our way all the way to the bow. This is a beautiful, spacious area, and I love the teak handmade floors that give me that lovely boating feeling. Also, there's an interesting feature here, which is this live bait tank, where you can throw in your bait for your fishing, but also if you catch something small enough, presuming you're not going after whales or sharks or what have you, you can actually chuck them in here, such as a lobster, and keep them aerated and alive as long as you need them. Let me take you through some of the features of the stern deck. First of all, we have a full sink and we can flip up that little tap. Next along, we have, oh, I love this part, a barbecue. For those of you who want to do a couple of ribs Texas style, this is the place to do it. And then over here we have an enormous refrigeration section, currently full of the good stuff. And next to it, we have one of many freezers on board the vessel. Before we go, I just want to mention a couple of quick features. Firstly, the walk around decks that get you all the way around the decks in comfort, easy to do. Also, tucked away in here, we have a fingertip joystick. You can actually drive the whole boat right from the back here, front to back, side to side, steer it entirely. Amazing. So let's talk about the mezzanine. Let's just start with that there is a mezzanine. So much space here, gorgeous shade, even on a warmer day like today, feels lovely and cool. You can actually leave this open to the breeze using this breezeway mesh, or you can close it in using clears, that's up to you. You can also open up this, which is amazing to me, touch of a fingertip, and it opens up access to the galley so that you can actually serve food through there if you want to. The day is beginning to warm up. It's becoming suntan weather? Not quite, but it might be time for a snooze. And hidden away under the couch here is an amazing feature right beside this ice box here. So let's do a little transformation. As you can see under here is a day bed. Let's flip out the base. And there you have it, a fantastic spot for a little bit of a lounge about in the day, or maybe even for the brave, you can sleep out here overnight. Okay, I'm here with Chris and Gary, both from Riviera. And what I wanna ask about is, how are people using these boats? I'm talking sort of lifestyle. One thing that you sort of teased me about is that this sort of boat can actually go from here, we just point it that way, keep going, and we'll hit New Zealand. What kind of capacity do these boats have for longer term travel? Oh, well, the whole design and the whole um, focus with these vessels is giving the people, giving our customers the option to be able to do longer voyages, whether that's up and down the east coast of Australia or going around Australia or around um, Tasmania. We have many customers doing those sorts of trips today um, and, and as we speak. We also have people that are picking up their boats from the Gold Coast where these boats are, where these beautiful boats are built and, and heading across the Tasman to, to New Zealand where they live. And at that speed, can you keep going at night? Just put the thing on GPS and go? Or... Absolutely, yeah. We've got autopilot, we've got radar systems, we've got infrared cameras, we've got all the safety features on these boats to be able to travel day and night, 24 hours a day. Um, you know, as we, as we were talking before, if we run out of water, we'll just make some water. So um, with the desalination uh, system that we have on board. What's the most unusual, interesting, crazy, Riviera adventure you've heard tell of in your years in the profession? There has been a lot of different adventures that our customers have undertaken from everything from going up the west coast of Australia into the Kimberleys, 
We've had boats go into Alaska. Um, Alaska? Alaska, all really? over, you know, at the end of the day, these boats are sold to 52 different countries all over the world. So they're getting around. Um, they're going into some amazing places. Some of the footages and some of the things that the customers send us are truly amazing. The mezzanine flows through into the galley and it feels like one enormous space. It really doesn't feel like a boat, it feels more like a house. There's just so much room. So let's have a little bit of a look at some of the features here. Firstly, we have this Corian top, which is actually made in the factory just to fit this particular boat. And you can pop out these plates and there you have a sink and more space over here for garbage. Over here, we have a cooktop down here, a convection slash microwave. And also we have, and I love this feature, a dishwasher. Flip down the switch and maybe both switches, and there you have it. Over here we have a full-sized fridge. Shockers and food that we're going to cook a little bit later. We also have not one, but two freezers down underneath. And what boat would be complete without your very own wet bar area? Up top, we have a spot to prepare those drinks. And if you spill a little bit, don't worry, it's on Corian again, as opposed to being on that lovely timber. Also, we have two refrigerators here, as well as a wine cooling area to keep your wine at exactly the right temperature. And furthermore, we have glasses, drawers full of glasses, including these lovely Riviera branded champagne flutes. As you know, this is a show about lifestyle. What's it like to live with these boats? So imagine, just for a second, you've come out, you've motored to a good spot, you've thrown in an anchor, you've maybe had a bite to eat, and now it's time to chill in the afternoon. For that, we have this spacious saloon area, and there's room for 15 of your best friends. Also, I want to talk about the workmanship. This is just something I particularly love. I keep an eye out for timber, and if you look at this as it flips out, this is all handmade. Look at how the grain just follows up from one side to the other. Just amazing attention to detail. But by far and away, my favorite feature of this area is the television. It is a large flat screen, but more importantly, at the press of a button, it does this. So I admit, I sometimes fixate on strange features of boats like this, but I love this handle. And this whole door actually serves to tie in from the mezzanine through the galley and the saloon all the way up to the foredeck. But firstly, you have to grab it and undo that watertight seal, give it a good shove. And she opens up to get you right out onto the foredeck. And this is a great space. It's got enough room for, well, some kind of small boating convention. It's also got a davit here if you want to store a tender, or you can take that davit on a different model and put it at the back of the boat on a hydraulic platform that actually ducks into the water. But for now, let's just sit back and chill and enjoy the sunshine. 